<laughs> Andy, thanks very much. Not from me, I promise you. Of course, ever since Europe's airspace was choked by the volcanic ash cloud, Icelanders have been laughing at the world's faltering attempts to pronounce the name of their ice-covered crater. There's actually been some debate about whether it is the name of the volcano itself. Apparently, the word we've all been struggling to spit out refers to the glacier on top of the volcano. Anyway, this is how it's written. It's a bit of a mouthful. This is how it should be pronounced, we're told. Ayafiatla Yokutla. There it is. <laughs> That's a mouthful, even when it's uh, spelt phonetically. Now, there's plenty of chat online about how you actually say it. Some have suggested the old trick of using more common words to help you remember it. This one isn't quite accurate, but it does help. Uh, let's take a look at it. Iva. Next up, we've got a Fiat. Then we've got Yogurt. Now we've got Angela Merkel. I think it should be something like Iva Fiat. Yogurt Merkel. I think you need to mumble the Merkel bit. All right. Joining me now, let's get some expert advice on this. Joining me live from London is the Icelandic singer, Lisa Girstadir Newman. Uh, thanks very much for your time. It, it must be pretty amusing for the likes of you watching all these English language newsreaders trying to spit out that word. There's a lot of noises and sounds in the Icelandic language that are pretty unfamiliar to us, aren't there? Yes, I think that's true. I mean, it's a quite a strange name. It's actually three words put to one. Eja Fjalla Jugut, which is island, uh, mountain, glacier. So it's, it's quite a mouthful for Icelanders as well. So it's, I can understand. All right. Obviously, one of the great tricks uh, when we're growing up is that you learn songs, you learn rhymes to uh, help you remember difficult words. I understand you've written a little ditty for us to uh, help us remember, remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, especially for you. A world exclusive. It's called Eja Fjallar Um It goes like this. Eja Fjallar is a long, long name for such a small glacier with such notorious fame. An Eyjafjallajökull has caused quite a stir And no one can fly anywhere except the birds Please stop it Eyjafjallajökull That's it. <laughs> that, that was pretty amazing. I'm not sure if it's gotten us any closer to <laughs> pronouncing it, but it's probably kept some of those stranded travellers right around the world occupied for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully. So before we go, just a little tip from you. If we want to spit the word out, how do we do it? Uh, Eja, which means island, is the first part. And then Fjatla is mountain. And then Jökull is glacier. So, I have and then you Jökla, squash it all. Jökull. Is that right? Jökull. <laughs> yeah, Eja, Fjatla, Jökull. Thank you very much indeed. We appreciate your time and your song. Thank it's you. fantastic. Thank you. <laughs>